Hello everyone, MVG Salem here, and this is the Character Potential Series. Here we will be going over the character's meta, their strengths, weaknesses, and potential. Today's character is Min Min. Let's get started. Her general game plan is pretty straightforward. She just consistently throws punches at you and then consistently applies pressure. Like, it's really simple and just straightforward like that. Of course though, she can mix things up by like actually fighting you with her close range moves, like doing down tilt or doing a dash attack. And that down tilt leads into like an up smash. Other things besides that, she can air to air as well because her nares are good. And as well, she also has her, her punches again. Like she can one to you in the air, or she could use Ram Ram, for example, and snipe you out of the air. And though a lot of these things are basically player dependent and as well character dependent. Because some people will use this and that, some people would do this and that. This matchup. Like, it really depends, but generally you will be mostly seeing the same thing over and over again. Min Min's strengths is that, for one, she has a ton of range, as well she has a pretty long range tether grab, or well, yeah, long range tether grab. <laughs> as well, she also gets empowered arm, and empowered arm she throws you. Another thing is that she does a ton of damage for free if she like actually one twos you. Besides that, she has a pretty decent combos. Her recovery, it's not real, it's not bad, but it's also not good. But the thing is, she can fight you if she is off stage, for example. Like if you did knock her off stage, she can just throw out like a dragon laser at you. And most of the time, that either stalls you long enough, so you can't you know, jump off stage to hit her with anything or it just hits you straight up, and then she just grabs the ledge. So a lot of times she just straight up is fine when she's off stage. Other times it gets a little iffy, but that's a different story. Min Min's also quite good at edge guarding because like, she has tons of range. She also has a bunch of 50-50s when it comes to knocking people off stage. So it's just like, oh, you're all safe. She can do one, and if you air dodge, she can do two. Because that's what she does with her arm. She does one, two at you. But that's just enough to cover like most of like every character's options. And even then, if it's not possible with that, then she can just probably do something else to mix it up and still like cover all your options. It's really, really broken, <laughs> Like to be honest, if you think about it. Cause that's just you being on stage. Now think about if you're like on stage or if you're being juggled. Well, she forces an air dodge for free. So that's a thing. So if she does one, two, it's just like one, you air dodge, and then two, you get hit guaranteed. So there's that as well. Her kill power, it's kind of, it depends. Because like a lot of times she either has you at like extremely high percents, like 150. Other times it's just like, oh, well, you died at like 20 or like you died at like 40 or 60. Like she can easily just kill you almost at any time if she so feels like. And that is with a bunch of range. She also is pretty safe because even if she like hits your shield with an arm up close, even if you have a frame three up yada show, you can't do anything about that. Only time you can is if she does a forward smash. If she does a forward tilt though, there's nothing you can do about that because she can just jump away. She can just do one to your shield and then jump away. Like she she can just do whatever she wants. Uh, it's like <laughs> out of shield options are not a thing versus her when she actually hits your shield at any of her tilts. So that's that that's pretty amazing. Like overall, everything she has there is just very good. One problem is Min, Min doesn't have the best auto shield. It is good, but it's not like cra crazy good. So some characters can just apply pressure to her for free. As well, she's her frame dash is kind of slow. So 
a lot of the time, if someone gets in on you, there's not too much you can do about it. Another weakness is that if you're behind her, she can't really do anything, especially if you made her shield. Like, if you crossed up on her or anything, then she can't do anything. She actually just has to run. She actually just straight up has to run. There, she doesn't have anything to protect her behind her. Like, nothing. She can't just back her out of shield. She can't just do any extremely fast, quick turnaround move. She does, doesn't have any of that. So the second you're behind her, there's nothing she can really do there. So she usually just has to roll, up B, any of those types of things. So that's another thing. Besides that, her recovery somewhat, because at times if she doesn't hit you with her dragon laser or intercepts you with her arms in any way, then she's like, you can just jump off stage and just hit her for free and then she dies. It's kind of similar to like when Violet's recovering, where it's just like, oh, if they get hit, it's kind of game over. So that's that's really, that's a pretty big weakness if you can get around the laser. Min Min stages. She pretty much is, is like amazing on pretty much almost every stage. So she doesn't really have a problem with stages too much. There are two stages that she kind of has a problem with, but I'll go into detail on, on that later in character weaknesses. And now for Min Min's bad stages, well, it, I did say there was only two really. Those two would be a Battlefield and Yoshi's. But if you think about it, you can just ban those stages and that's not really a problem. <laughs> But if you do go to those stages, the thing is, Min Min has this odd issue where it's just like, let's say you want to do a dragon laser. If you try to attempt that, the thing is your arm can slide on the platform. And when it's sliding on a platform and you fall down, it makes it so your forward smash ends earlier. So even if you were to try and laser, you basically get disrupted in a way just because of that platform so you can't always do the type of thing you want to whenever you're on a stage like that you have to just be like okay well i might as well just tilt or just like wait and actually get under the platform like you can't do whatever you want for free and now for character matchups that she's good in well she's good in a lot of matchups <laughs> like let's say for example, Game Watch, she can easily deal with Game Watch because, like I mentioned before, her moves are safe on shield, so she doesn't have to care too much about that. I think she's good for Snake as well because you can just throw punches at him from range and not have to th worry about anything. She's good for his projectile characters because she has up smash and her up smash reflects. As well, her megawatt arm, it can punch through a lot of projectiles, even if they can't. A lot of times you can just do a one-two and it, it'll be enough to get through the first projectile and their second. So there's that. She does pretty well for his Mega Man because again, Megawatt, she could just throw a Megawatt at him and it punches through all his pellets and that just destroys him. Like it just, Megawatt kind of destroys like a lot of projectile characters. So there's that. Sword characters, I think she beats sword characters pretty well just because just like they try and space or they try to try and run in and her moves are just good enough to just beat whatever they have like you don't even really have to always like do any of her tilts or smash attacks a lot of the time you can just anti-air them by just up smashing their aer aerials or jumps uh, or sometimes you can just dash attack them other times you can just down tilt their landings or aerial jump-ins and landings like you can just do all kinds of things like that and a lot of time that just beats their options you could even just like pivot grab a lot of their stuff a lot of time because a lot of sword fighters approaches are like linear so you don't have to really think too much on that like she just beats the purpose of a lot of those things <laughs> that people generally do And now, what do I think is Min Min's potential? Well, everything she has overall is like just great, but the thing is, it can be better still. Because, for example, she actually has like pretty insane combos and a very interesting combo tree. Because she can do like down tilt, ram ram nair, into up air, into ram ram nair, into forward tilt, into forward smash, things like that. But it's just like, those are hard to practice type things. And as well, it's just like, 
you have to remember what arms you have consistently and as well there's times where you can just switch your arm mid combo and extend them as well she has suicide shenanigans like ram ram nair into nair into double jump nair 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 up b like things like that like she can actually just option coverage the heck out of you for like for free even doing suicide combos like because like for example if your air dodge isn't good enough when she's doing that nair, co nair combo while you're off stage then you die if not even if you have like a good air dodge like a frame two air dodge she still makes it so you can't move at all like she can just keep mashing there enough times e drag you all the way down to the bottom of the stage so unless your recovery is like a super custom recovery you're going to die and even then it's just like oh if she keeps hitting you all the way down there and she's still swinging then she can just kill you because like i said she can do na a bunch of nares into upbeat the upbeat part is the scary part <laughs> Which also reminds me, she can empower her dragon arm because what happens is her up B actually gets empowered as well. <laughs> a lot of people forget about this. And you can actually just like obliterate characters that were want to recover high. So characters like Snake, Mega Man, Sonic, they actually can't freely get away with that because you can just throw them off stage. If they re attempt to recover high, you up B them and they explode. So there's that as well. Like the empowered arm is just. It's just funny to think about. As well, mentioning that, if, with her forward throw is a tech chase move as well. So, <laughs> you can still cover a bunch of options just by being like, oh yeah, I just need to forward throw them once again, empowered arm, and all their options are covered for free because I forced them to try and tech. <laughs> and even if they don't have to tech, it's just like, you still have positioning advantage and you have an empowered arm. And then there's things like, oh, again, her 50-50s where she just grabs you and back throws you and then either forward smashes and tries to hit you with an empowered dragon arm laser. Or she waits, goes off stage and forward smashes and then hits you with a dragon arm laser. Or she back throws you up bees and then forward smashes and hits you with a dragon arm laser. <laughs> like it keeps going on and on and on. And she has many mix-ups to just like try and just flat out kill you. And even then the other mix-up is her just being like, okay I'm just gonna throw you off stage, switch to Ram Ram and just do Nair to Dragon R <laughs> and laser and you still die. Like but that part's just a straight up combo. That's the scary part. So she has a lot of untapped potential there to just be like, oh, uh, yeah, I can actually just kill them if I want to. It's just, you have to always think about what type of combos you can do. And as well, you will have to always think about which arms to switch to and what type of situations you want to go for. As well as just like, there's things that she can cover for her weaknesses, for example. Like when people are jumping around a lot or trying to jump over her, her arms, she can just switch to Ram Ram and you can do a four to a ram ram and jump and that basically scoops up like half of the screen that's like a half screen scoop up just from that so even if you were to like jump you will get clipped out of your jump and then she can hit you out of that jump because she can just be like one two and that can be a combo like it, things like that keeps extending and going on and on and can be better and better so it's really crazy to think about how far she can go once everything's mastered like her potential is also like really insane on a lot of people's tier list it shows her to be like either high to top tier personally mm, i think she could be like top three or top five generally i think she's like basically around top three or four ish like around that that spot but to be <laughs> to be on the safe side for like everyone else i'd say the, the top five but in my opinion she's like top three and top four thanks for watching my character potential video on min min if you like this content subscribe and hit the bell and leave a comment with your thoughts you can also subscribe to my youtube channel the link is in the description below thank you guys for watching